action thing that was happening in my mind, I had to deal with all of those things until God reminded me, Ephesians 1, 5, in love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ. I recognize that, that I was adopted into his family. Amen. I also surrendered my financial health to him. Now, some of y'all, some of y'all might not want to talk about money. Some of y'all might be struggling with it. Can I tell you, I've been in that, in that place. When it comes to finances, I was a hot mess. The money would come in and leave just as fast as it came in. I would go to the mailbox and I would check the mail and the bills would be there. And I thought that if you just hid the mail like in my desk drawer, like, like, like it doesn't exist, right? Like if you put it away and out of sight, out of mind, that's how it was for me. I adopted a scarcity mindset that was rooted in struggle, that was rooted in victimhood. But then I was reminded that I am not to conform to the ways of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I learned about stewardship and committed to having my words match my actions. So many people, especially here in the church, in the body of Christ today, when it comes to someone's financial home, they want to make money to, to get out of the struggle.